Hey guys, my name is Serena Williams and today we're creating Harold the Skeleton. Nope. The Scarecrow. Scarecrow. From Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. It is my favorite horror movie of this. Actually, it chapter 2 hasn't come out yet. So, so far, it's my favorite horror movie of this year. I love Harold. He looks like the grumpiest old man I have ever seen. So let's get started. If you haven't seen my first scary story to tell in the dark cake, I created the pale lady who is my favorite of the monsters, but Harold comes in a close second. And I'm using Funfetti cake. Wow. Are you guys sick of me using Funfetti cake? Because I know I use it for almost everything. To create Harold, I'm just using a 10 inch cake, cutting out this ugly shape, which is supposed to be Harold's face. And then I started to do all of the cake basics. Now Harold, I think is the right choice for all like the promotional stuff for this movie because his type of scary is the most easy to digest. I feel like everybody has been scared by a scarecrow at some point. I've been scared from scarecrows a lot. Even the pumpkin ones that are supposed to be like really happy, they're terrifying too. Now carving Harold was pretty easy because his face is ugly. <laughs> You're not worried about symmetry. You're kind of just carving. I kind of didn't even really try. I feel <laughs> His face is like falling apart. He was hit with a bat like three times, four times in the movie. So that's why his face looked like this. But as scary as scarecrows can be, I don't know why you would beat on a scarecrow the way that kid did. Sorry if you haven't seen the movie, but I, that'll be as, as spoilery as this video gets. Harold gets hit with a bat and that's why he comes back to life and wreaks havoc. Now after I carved Harold's terrible looking face, I added some fondant to areas that I carved down too much. Then I covered him with the ugliest beige ever. Ooh, he looks pale, he looks old, he needs some tanning lotion, and he needs some milk. Now one of the things I had difficulty with creating with Harold was that the fondant was really smooth and it wasn't cracking and Harold's face is just like one big crack really. So after I finished carving his nose I started to work on his eyes which is really easy because they're not supposed to be symmetri semi semical. <laughs> what is it? Symmetrical. And then I started to just ensure that I added all of the creases and cracks on Harold's mask. Where did they get this mask? I don't know. Why would you buy this? Was it discounted at the 99 cent store? That's why you put it on your scarecrow? Are crows really gonna be scared by that mask? No, that mask was intended to scare people. Crows don't even know that that mask is scary. They just think that the body is scary. So I kind of screwed up when I was carving the cake because even though Harold's bumpy face is ugly, some of my ugly was not in the right place, so I had to overcorrect with all my fondant tool work. It was fine, but I think I shouldn't have been as lazy when carving this cake. Then I added all of Harold's hair. Adding Harold's hair was fun. It's just like long strands of fondant. He's got some patches. He doesn't look like he was using Rogaine, so he's missing a lot of hair. Which is alright with me because that means I don't have to work as hard. Then I started to paint. So first I'm just using diluted black food coloring with a little bit of magic sauce. And just adding it into all of the crevices and cracks on Harold's face. It just highlights it so much better. And then I started to add dirt, luster dust, and food coloring just to achieve the scariness of Harold's face. So Harold is a monster, I know, but I think that he is a good monster, right? Let me make the case for Harold, because Harold was just this ugly guy with terrible skin. He needs some oil of Olay, a little bit of Clinique, but he was just out there in the fields all day. 24 7 7 days no 24 <laughs> 7 just doing his job right his job is to stand there keep the crows away he's protecting the crops and this brat of a kid 
just walks by and hits him with a bat for no reason, that kid needed to be taught a lesson and Harold taught him that lesson. Harold looks like a monster, but he's not the monster. He's just doing his job. And so I applaud him for uh, what he did. <laughs> it was pretty cool to watch on the screen. After I finished adding makeup, my fondant crusted a lot, so I actually just separated it with my fingers to add even more cracks to Harold's face. I add a little bit more hair with my paintbrush and then voila. Harold the Scarecrow was complete. It's terrifying looking, right? After creating Harold, I think I have like the foundation of how I want to create Leatherface. One of the scariest villains and monsters I've ever seen. I love all of the fondant cracks. I'm curious, which of my scary stories to tell in the dark cakes do you like better? Harold or the Pale Lady? I'm gonna say the Pale Lady just because it's my favorite monster in the movie. Which monster would you like to see me create next? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!